Let's say you got a brand new helium miner and you have a rough idea about where to place it. However, you are not sure about the exact location. In this video, we'll discuss how to figure out the best location for your new helium miner so that its transmit scale is maximized and you can earn more with your helium hotspot. We'll consider four different situations, a remote area where there are not many hotspots around, a mildly populated area, an area with moderate number of helium hotspots, and finally an extremely crowded area. Hey folks, this is Roy and welcome back to my channel Eigentech. In this video, we are going to talk about placement of a new single helium miner. If you want to improve transmit scale of an existing helium miner, you should check out this video and you will find the link in the description. So let us go to the helium explorer and uh, pick a random location. So we'll first select a remote area where there are not many hotspots around. So for example, let's say somewhere here, um, you can see that there are no hexes uh, highlighted in this area. So just go in here and uh, it's better to actually um, turn on this transmit scale here so that you will know that what is the uh, rough you will get a rough idea of the transmit scale of the helium hotspots around that location so we'll do zoom in here you can see that there are a few hotspots here and those are green saying that uh, the transmit scale must be one here so if you select one of the hexes uh, it will show you uh, you can see that uh, this particular hotspot has a transmit scale of one so let's say we want to place our new hotspot somewhere here so it's highly likely that it will also have a transmit scale of one but to make sure we can always go to hotspotty so the link is app.hotspotty.net and then you can zoom in uh, to the location where you want to place your helium hotspot now to add your helium hotspot or simulate the effect of your helium hotspot i uh, go to this icon which is location and uh, you can add your helium hotspot by saying just drop a pin and you just drag the map around and then let's say this is the location and you confirm and you have to give it a name I'll just give it a name test one and save so this hotspot has now appeared here so you can see I have a new hotspot which says test one now if you click on test one and it will show you more details so if you go here reward scaling it will show you more details so you can see it has excellent transmit scale which is equal to one and you can see everything is green here all the resolutions starting from 10 up to 4 have a transmit scale of one so that product is also one so this is a very good location in terms of uh, transmit scale However, in practice, you, you always like to place the, your helium hotspot close to other hotspots so that your transmit scale uh, is one and you can still witness each other so that you can earn agents. Now there could be some situations where you are unlucky and your transmit scale is still not one even though there are not many hotspots around. I have already found one such example, uh, this particular one. So let's go it to its location. and once we so if you zoom in here you'll see there are not really many hotspots around in this area and uh, however the transmit if we go to this uh, reward scaling it will show you that the transmit scale is 0.70 and not 1 uh, so if you scroll down you'll see that the problem is in the resolution 4 hex and all the other child resolutions have transmit scale of 1 but this big resolution 4 hex has a transmit scale of 0.7 actually it's mainly because it, this location is actually pretty close to uh, a city a major city in this case chicago and that's why there are a lot of helium hotspots in this resolution 4 hex actually they are it's overcrowded so that's why even though in this particular location there are not many hotspots uh, it's actually limited by the uh, too many hotspots in the resolution 4 hex and in this case there is no uh, option other than really moving it out of the resolution 4 hex so this is just an example of a sad situation. Also note that there could be some situations where Hotspotty doesn't show you this full breakdown of the transmit scale. And it happens in particular when there is basically no hotspots in a very large area. So I have actually uh, pre-selected one such spot. 
so here basically it's somewhere in Africa I guess and uh, or Algeria so if you go to the reward scaling here you will see that it says the transmit scale is 1 and there is no breakdown there is no breakdown because there is basically no hotspots in this very large area and that is why hotspot is not showing you the breakdown but there is no concern about it because you are the first one so you, you are going to have a transmit scale of 1 in this case all right let us now move to a mildly populated area so I uh, will go back to the Helium Explorer and zoom out a little bit and move towards the city. So let's say we pick up uh, this cluster here. Okay, so you can see from the color that most of them have a transmit scale of one. If you select one hex, it will say you it's one. So in this particular hex, there are two of them, and even then uh, the transmit scale is still one. So uh, it will be best if you want to um, if you can fill up one of these empty hexes here. But it's not a strict condition. You can also put uh, two hotspots, for example, inside this particular hex, and you'll still have a transmit scale of one. So to confirm this situation, again, it's best to go back to hotspot. So uh, we'll go back to the location we earlier had. So this test one. Then we zoom out and try to move to that new location so i believe this is this was this particular cluster so let's say uh, you are going to place some hotspot in this area so again the same way click on locations click on this add location you can enter an address here as well but it's easier to drop a pin so we'll drop a pin and confirm and give it a name let's say test 2 and save So you can see it has appeared here if you click on test 2 now so and scroll down click on reward scaling it will show you that the transmit scale is 1 so everything is 1 here so there is no problem with that. Uh, if you like to move it around you can also do that so you can go down and click on edit placement and then you have to you can move this marker around and select your new location it will also show you what is the distance from the original location and you can click on confirm. It will save the information and show you the updated transmit scale but you can see that now the transmit scale has become uh, smaller because it's actually closer to maybe one of the hotspots and that's why it has happening uh, probably hotspot has a bug that's why it's not showing it right here so it actually it's best to uh, not move the location and assert a new location so let's check this location once again so we'll, what we'll do here we'll actually delete uh, this location and add a fresh location okay so let's um, try to move one very close to here okay so we'll add a location drop a pin and take it very let's say somewhere in between these two confirm give it a name test 2 save it and it's showing you it's yellow so transmit scale is 0.5 and now you can see there is a problem here so it's saying that resolution 9 has one too many so remember that you can never place two helium hotspot in the single resolution 10 it will always bring the transmit scale down you can have a situation where you have you can have more than one helium hotspot in the resolution 8 hex so a resolution 8 hex can actually have up to four helium hotspot without the transmit scale being scaled down okay so the point is that you have your new hotspot somewhere here and there is an existing hotspot here and that's why it's not showing up the new hotspot uh, they're probably trying to fix this bug but uh, basically the point is there are now two hotspots which are very close to each other and that's why this transmit scale is 0 0.5 so basically it will not be a good location to uh, place so you have to move it uh, slightly away so that uh, you don't get a 0 0.5 transmit scale it should be further outside also note that uh, all these locations should be asserted within uh, roughly within 100 meters of your actual physical location okay otherwise the chances of getting invalid witnesses will increase so the next example will be a moderately crowded area for that again we will go back to the explorer and move closer to the city so this color is good actually it gives you a rough idea about the average transmit scale in some particular area you can see these areas are good 
uh, because it has green but these are yellowish orange which means it will have in general a bad transmit scale so let's uh, let's let's pick up a random location here so let's see uh, this area okay uh, this one you can see that it has a single hotspot and it has 0.66 transmit scale so let's see if i place one hotspot around it what happens okay so it's better to then uh, copy this name so long tiger so we'll go here and type the name of the hotspot so then you can go to reward scaling and you can see that the problem is again because of the resolution 4 hex which has uh, too many helium hotspots um, so if you zoom out it says that actually this is the area which is completely uh, affected by the city so it has too many helium hotspots in, in a very large area so anyway so let us uh, go back here and see that if I place a new hotspot around it what will happen okay so but remember that you don't like to put a helium hotspot in the same resolution 9 or resolution 10 so let's just check, check resolution 9 and try to understand its boundary so you can see that how it looks like uh, this is a resolution 9 boundary and you should not place another hotspot inside this that will bring your hotspots transmit scale down so you can either use a f e d or c so let's uh, go to locations and try to add a location same way so slightly away from here click on confirm and give it a name i think it will be test 3 now save and so well okay you can see it's uh, yellow so the color is coming because of the uh, media code transmit scale because it's coming because of the resolution 4 problem so uh, it's fine otherwise but you cannot fix this resolution 4 problem so if you go back to resolution 9 you will see that uh, the location should be fine yes so the your hotspot is inside this uh, is 9 hex and other hotspots are here so the point is uh, you cannot improve it really from this value so the best you can do is basically 0 0.67 in this case uh, because of the problem of uh, resolution 4 uh, I can choose another location where you can see it's probably better so let's see another crowded area somewhere here okay this is also pretty crowded area so you add your new helium hotspot to the expected location and confirm test 4 save so this is green so that means it will be fine in this case okay so transmit scale will be all fine so basically the idea is you first have a rough case of where your helium hotspot will be and then you try to simulate this using the hotspot another way of optimizing the transmit scale would be to find out one helium hotspot which, uh, around which you are going to place your new helium hotspot so just let's say this one just click on that helium hotspot in the hotspotty and go to the reward scaling and then you should uh, try to figure out that at which resolution you have available spaces for example you can see in resolution 8 it still has two available which means if you go to resolution 8 uh, it will show you here that there are actually two helium hotspots and uh, two still have it available so inside this area you can place two more helium hotspots without the transmit scale being reduced so that is another way of checking it and similarly uh, these other areas like other res 8 hexes will also have um, some availability so if you click on one of this so for example here it says it's there are three available so this way you can also check the availability for new installment locations so now we'll move to a very crowded area and see what is the best way to approach in that case. So we'll go back here and let's go close to the city. So ideally, if you should not even uh, install a new helium hotspot in these locations because the earnings will be extremely small. 
uh, because of the transmit scale of the other helium hotspots around it but let's say if you still want to do it so what is the best way of doing it so uh, we'll go here and uh, let's pick up one name so i'm using 10 locust so i'm using locust so we'll use the same idea basically you go and check that you are scaling and try to figure out uh, which resolution hex has the uh, least problem okay so we go to reward scaling and check here so earlier i told you we tried to see that which resolution had available uh, locations for a new helium installation but in this case we have to figure out which one has the least problem so in this case you can see uh, resolution 10 already has problem 7 has problem 4 has problem and uh, in resolution 9 there is one available resolution 8 is fully occupied so so since it says that resolution 9 has one available so let's so this is actually great that you have uh, one available in one location available in the resolution 9 hex and you can see the limit is two interactive hotspots so basically means that you can place one new hotspot here without being the, the transmit scale will not go down because of the presence of uh, the resolution 9 hex but it will of course go down scale down by the other resolution hex the bigger resolution hex problems also never have two helium hotspots in the same resolution 10 hex so just uh, try to remember this location uh, let's say the street number whatever cornelia avenue so again we'll, you should also verify that uh, case so go to location add location drop a pin and i get, believe this was somewhere here and confirm give it a name test 5 this is the hotspot you are trying to add so where is test 5 so test 5 and go to reverse scaling and you'll see the problem so now resolution 9 is fully occupied resolution 10 is occupied so these are green uh, and you cannot really fix the resolution 7 and resolution 4 so this is kind of the best situation you can have in this case okay so if you go back to helium explorer you can see some of the hotspots had 0.25 but you got a better than that 0.4 but some of them still has 0.4 0 0.50 so basically if you have room you have the freedom to move it around you can you can just continue playing in the hotspot and figure out what would be the best location so that your transmit scale is maximized so here all the green dots are the online one and the red ones are which are either offline or non-interactive Another thing is that what I have showed is all simulation. Basically, you are trying to figure out the best location so that your transmit scale is maximized. Uh, so you have to be careful where actually finally asserting the location of your Helium hotspot because in the Helium app, after selecting the location, it kind of uh, randomizes the location a little bit and moves it around. So you have to be very careful before pressing the confirmation button in that case. I hope this video will help you in determining the best location for your new helium hotspot so that the transmit scale is maximized. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comment section. That's all for today. Thanks for watching guys and get kryptonized.